Hey y'all, welcome back to Just Making It With Fee, and I'm Miss Fifi. Um, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to come on here and show you all what I was gonna do with the um, zucchini and squash that I purchased in my grocery haul. If you missed that grocery haul, um, look back a couple videos and you'll see it. But um, I just went to the grocery store and bought a few items. Let me turn this down. A few items to supplement what I have in my home. So, um, to supplement my meals rather for the week. And I spent $16 and some change at the store. And one of the items that I purchased was um, zucchini and squash. So, um, I said that I was going to do some breakfast with it. So, I just wanted to come on here and show you all my breakfast that I'm going to cook with it. Um, let me go on and turn my eyes back on. Alrighty. Um, to begin with, I put some butter in this pan and I seasoned up my zucchini and squash with these seasonings. I use this Creole seasoning, which I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Um, this Dano seasoning that someone gave me as a gift and I'm really enjoying it. And um, this Montreal steak seasoning, y'all know that's a staple in my home. And when I uh, season it, I coated it in this olive oil. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just put my zucchini, uh -oh, put my zucchini and squash in here. And as you all can see, that made a ton of zucchini and squash. If you saw my haul, I only had one squash and two zucchinis, and I believe the total was two dollars and ninety-one cents for those. So I just wanted you all to see that. Um, you can buy a little bit and get a lot of food. And I'm sorry to be one handing it, but my um, ring light broke. I said out of all times when I want to start back showing y'all videos, my ring light would break. So I have to go get another one of those. But I'm just trying to get the rest of this out. I probably won't be able to. It's just going to bother me, but oh well. So I'm just going to let this cook down. And I'm going to add some onion. I already had the onion in my refrigerator. And all I did was slice up two, um, two thin slices of onion. Just to add it for flavor. So. I'm just going to mix this up. Let it cook down. I'm gonna put a lid on it to help it cook down a little bit faster. Alrighty, right here in this pan where I have some melted butter, um, I'm gonna scramble some eggs. Mm, I should do my sausage. Well, I'm gonna scramble some eggs too. So as you see, I have seven south. I mean, seven eggs in here. So I'm just gonna whisk, whisk these up real quick. I don't know about y'all, but I am so thankful that the price of eggs so went down, y'all. Cause woo, it was rough for me and I wasn't eating eggs like that. And I love me some eggs. Okay. All I'm doing is coming over here to my sink and I can show y'all. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to my eggs. I like to do that because to me, it helps to make them nice, um, light and fluffy. And then I'm just gonna season them. You can season your eggs however you want. I'm just gonna season mine with salt and pepper. And I'm using um, Himalayan salt that I got from the Dollar Tree, just so you know. Okay. Okay, let me turn this eye back on where the eggs are gonna go. I'm just gonna whisk that up. I'm gonna add some more seasoning to the eggs 
once they get in this pan. But, um, and I'm gonna add some cheese as well. But, um, I'm gonna add some sausage that I have right here that I had in my freezer as well. I'm just gonna cook it all up. add these sausages in there and just let them cook and this is the sausage that I'm using just if you're curious about it it's some smoky egg rich uh, breakfast sausage that's beef because I don't eat pork um, I caught these on sale for 99 cent a pack so this is how they look in the pack and I got it from um, a local discount store where I live at. Normally, I wouldn't buy it, but for 99 cent, I said I'm gonna grab it. I really shouldn't have put this sausage in there, but oh well. Just gonna let this brown up. But I'm gonna let that brown up and let me check on my zucchini and squash. Mmm. I'm wondering if I need to add like a little bit of water to it. Look like it's juicy now. It's juicy. It's simmering too. It's just simmering on down. Looking good. Mm -hmm. I wish y'all could smell this. I wish y'all could smell this food. Lord, if that thing will get in front of this camera one more time. Y'all count and tell me how many times y'all seen my finger in this uh, video. <laughs> Obstruct y'all's view of what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put the lid right back on this so it can just simmer down and cook. I have to keep an eye on it because I'm notorious for burning things while I'm videoing. But if I'm not videoing, I don't burn my food. Okay, it's starting to brown up a little bit. Okay. I'm not gonna, I don't know, it depends on my time because I'm really trying to watch my time on this video, but um, if I run short for time and I take these out a little bit early, I want you to be like, oh, she finna eat some raw sausage. No, I'm gonna end up reheating these up anyway so they'll cook more in the microwave when I reheat them. So, won't you be talking about, I'm cooking raw sausage. No, 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 I'm not. Well, my zucchini and squash. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And that goes for that as well. It's really cooking along. Oh, it's look like my sausage is cooking. Okay. It's cooking up well. Shoot, breakfast almost done. I want y'all to see that, you know, it don't take a lot of money to fix you some breakfast. You can take time to fix you some breakfast where you don't have to go through a drive-thru. Get them all your money. And you be full. I'm just going to put some of this stuff up, y'all. Get some of this stuff off the counter so I can have some room. Okay. And I'm going to put my food in these containers right here. Oh, no. Maybe I ought to put them in these. Hmm. It's okay. I already done took them out. Where did go from? I'm going to switch containers up, y'all. I'm going to put them in these. The ones with three compartments. And maybe save one of those. Get 
trying to one hand this thing, honey. It ain't no joke. Okay. Do I have another one that's available? Not. Okay. Okay. I told y'all I'm notorious for burning stuff when I'm cooking on camera. I'm sitting up here thinking I wasn't going to have the sausage done. Oh, yeah, they super done, ain't they? <laughs> but that is cool. All right. I'm just sticking them over here in this little glass bowl for now. And I do have my aisle right now, just so you know. Only because I'm cooking with one hand. I don't want to burn this stuff. Alright. So let me see what's going on with this sizzling over here. It's looking good. Let's see if I need to stir it a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's cooking on down. Look, there go that finger. I wish I could get the rest of this out of here and pour it in there, but I don't see no way that I can do it with one hand without taking all day. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't one thing, it's another. Alright. Put the lid back on it. Okay. Now with this same um, pot right here, I'm going to get ready to put my eggs in here. Where go, baby? Okay. Love you. That's right. That's what I'm doing. That's my baby, y'all. My baby graduated, y'all. I'm so proud of him. All right. Stir up my eggs. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but. I always like to cook it in, like if I'm cooking some bacon or some sausage, I like to cook my eggs in the exact same um, grease that it came out of to give it some flavor. Put some cheese in there. Add a little bit more salt and pepper. You want to get on camera? <laughs> right. And as I told y'all, my oven wasn't on, so now I'm finna turn it on. And it's just gonna cook. And it's just gonna take a second to, to cook now, because it was already hot. And y'all know it don't take long for eggs to scramble. Add a little bit more cheese, just cause I can. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I'm gonna check on my squash, and then I'm gonna plate up my food inside of my containers, and my breakfast is gonna be done. And I don't have to stop through no drive-through wonder and spend excess money that I know I don't have. And I can eat me a good, hearty breakfast at work. Let me put this over here in this sink. And I just want y'all to see it really don't take long to fix y'all some breakfast. My zucchini and squash is done to my liking. If you want it crispier, don't cook it as long. If you want it softer, you know the drill cook it longer 
My eggs are almost done. And my sausage is done. So all that's gonna be left is for me to plate it up. It depends on how you want your eggs. I like mine, um, I don't like my eggs runny. But if you like your eggs runny, you could take them out now, but that's just not a preference of mine. I'm gonna add some more cheese up in here just so they could be cheesy. I love me some cheese. All right. And that's it. I'm gonna figure out plate up this food. Whenever I need something, it's never around. It's okay. Oh, you waiting on me to move my car? You can move it because I'm cooking. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video. Just don't wreck it. Okay. I'm going to put two sausages on there. Don't drive my car crazy. Uh-oh. Put two sausages. Turn these eggs, all they already are. Put my eggs in here. Mm -mm. Oh, I might do three sausages. Mm -hmm. My zucchini and squash. Okay. I'm gonna repeat over here. I think this might make three of these, y'all. Mm -mm, stop. Sorry, y'all. That's my child I'm trying to grab the phone. zucchini and squash in this one. I think it is going to make three. That made a lot. Mm-hmm. It made, mm-hmm. Put another one of these in there. All right. And then I'm just going to get one of these. Let me see. I can find one real quick. No. I don't feel like looking down there, so I just grab one of these. All right. Mmm. This is going to be good. This is going to be delicious. Some eggs and put in there. I don't know, y'all. The more I think about it, I think I'm gonna use this zucchini and squash and these eggs for something else. So, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with those two, and I probably will do a wrap with this just to switch it up so it won't seem like I'm eating the same thing every day. So with this, I'll come back on here and show y'all what I'm gonna do with it later when I fix another meal or another breakfast with it. Show you how to repurpose what you cook so it won't seem like you're eating the same thing every day and get boring on you. Cause that's not what we wanna do. But here's my end product. So this will be enough breakfast for two days. 
And then I'm gonna do some wraps with this, with the spinach wraps that I bought. So shoot, that'll be enough breakfast for the whole week. And y'all seen how much I spent? $2.91 for the zucchini, 99 cent for the sausage. And those eggs, they've been in my refrigerator, but I had got a dozen of them for 90 something cent at Walmart when I did get them. So that's way cheaper than going through the drive-thru. And you know, the cheese is optional. You don't have to have the cheese if you don't want it, but I love me some cheese. So um, I hope this can bless somebody. I hope it was helpful just so that you can see that, hey, take you some time to meal prep, get you some breakfast together. You can grab it, put it in the microwave and go. Thank you for uh, watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, especially if you know someone, you know, who can be blessed by this. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.